We are working on a Hyundai i30 year 2015. This fix may also apply to many Kia vehicles as they share the same parts. The problem is that the airbag light comes on and stays on. This can be caused by loose wires that are connected to the airbag system. We are going to show that this case is from a faulty clock spring. The symbol here shows an airbag fault. This is an El Cheapo OBD2 diagnostic reader. It does have an airbag reset function. Pull off the panel on the right side of the steering wheel. That is the OBD2 socket. Here I demonstrate that the plug can only go one way. I search for a Hyundai i30 that is similar to this vehicle. Pick a model and year that is at least close to what the car is. Have a look at your car manual and try and match up the car. Sometimes you spend more time trying to work out the scanner than fixing the problem. Okay, so you got we are reading the DAB first resistance, that's a driver's airbag. As the wheel is turned, the resistance is around 8.3 to 11 ohms. So, driver's airbag first resistance, 7.2. Driver airbag resistance too high. The clock spring is an electrical spiral wound connector which allows the steering wheel to turn while still maintaining a connection between the driver's airbag or the horn and other connections such as the car's stereo. Under the bonnet, slide the catch to the left. The catch slides to release the bonnet. There it goes to the left. Locate the negative terminal of the battery. Use a 10mm open-ended spanner to undo the negative terminal. Place the negative battery wire away from the terminal. Under the driver's airbag there are three spring-loaded catches. When they are pushed in, this releases the catch. Use a 4mm Allen key to press the release buttons in. There is one on the right, there is one on the left, There is one under the middle, right there in that hole. Press them in and the driver's airbag pops off. Be careful not to rip the wires off when taking the airbag off. The main connector is located in the middle of the airbag. Lift the orange tab to release the connector. Once released, pull the yellow part up. Release the black clip by pulling the tab back. The airbag cable is free. On here off, you lift this clip up. Lift this clip up. Pull it out. Get this one off. This white horn connector simply pulls off. Put the driver's airbag or horn assembly to the side. We need to take this nut off, but remember that the steering wheel needs to go back in the same place. I marked where the wheel splines line up. A rattle gun set in reverse with a 21mm socket is used. This makes light work of the nut. Again I mark where the steering wheel sits. Once the nut is removed the steering wheel comes off quite easily. Put the wheel to the side. 
Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the lower screw and remove the two front screws to allow the lower plastic cowling to detach. The top and bottom halves separate easily and are held by small plastic clips. You can leave the top section in place. To remove the clock spring there are three plastic tabs. There is the lower left tab. The third tab is on the top under the plastic cover. The clock spring is released. These two connectors need to be taken off. The left side white connector has a squeeze in tab to release it. Press the tab and pull it back. There's the tab. The yellow connector, you slide the part backwards, then pull it out. So once again, the white connector, press in the tab to release. There's the press. And the yellow one, you slide the tab backwards and pull it out. We test the old clock spring resistance. The old clock spring is reading about 5 ohms. Let us measure the new clock spring. The new clock spring is measuring about 0 0.8 ohms. So if we look at the probes. Now if we have a probe error of 0 0.2 ohms then the clock spring would be measuring around 0 0.6 ohms. The new one. And about five in the old one. There's a big difference between the old and the new one. Fitting the new clock spring is simple. Put it in place. You line up the three tabs. The orange plastic is a transport protection mechanism. Release the tab and remove it. Once the orange transport protector is removed, don't spin the clock spring around. Replace the white and yellow connectors. Use some car protectant to clean the area while the plastics are apart. Clip the two halves of the cowl back together. Replace the wheel making sure it lines up with your markings. Refit the nylock 21mm nut. Use the 21mm socket to tighten the steering wheel retaining nut. Clip on the white connector and feel horny again. Press down the airbag connector. Lock it in place by pressing the orange button. Clip the cable stay back on. Make sure your wires are not impinged. Click the horn or airbag assembly back on, just push it on. Use your 10mm spanner and reconnect the negative of the battery. Right, we're back in the car. Test the car. Put on the clutch, start engine. You should not have to reset any lights. Thanks for watching.